Howdy, welcome to BanjoBenClark.com. This is your favorite online place to come to learn how to play banjo, guitar, and this week is mandolin, okay, through hard drive crashes and all. I had that happen to me today, but I'm still here with you. I'm faithful and putting up these videos each and every week for my Gold Pick members at BanjoBenClark.com. I hope that you like that little piece I just play on the mandolin. That's a, the intro lick uh, to a great Rhonda Vincent song called I've Forgotten You. Of course, the point of the song is she didn't forget the guy. That's kind of the catch. Anyway, I love that lick, but there's some great technique and theory that goes on behind playing a lick like that, and that's what we're going to learn today. We're going to learn how to do some cross-pick, drone-pick type stuff between different strings. And this is awesome because I built it for absolute beginners, and we're going to start out just on open strings on two strings, learning how to do syncopated pick patterns. Okay, so we're going to really work on doing our up down picking getting those in time and then learn how to learn how to jump back and forth between strings and then to add frets to to make up beautiful licks like that in that Rhonda Vincent song if you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook I invite you to go over to the website I'm very proud of banjobenclark.com I was looking just the other day I have almost 300 taps available for you over there for your Gold Pick members and a video that accompanies all of them. And I put one up each and every week, switch out between the instruments. So I invite you to go over there and check it out. You can watch the full 20 minute video I have for this lesson, as well as download the tab in both PDF and TEF file formats um, so that you can improve your mandolin picking far, far above and beyond where you are right now. Let's do it. Let's dive into this one. Today is a technique lesson where I want to show you the basic right hand techniques and patterns that goes into producing um, a beautiful, um, you know, beautiful mandolin playing like we heard um, in that Rhonda Vincent song that I played for you. And uh, there's a very succinct um, method way that I'm going to teach you to do this. I've got a, um, actually seven different patterns that we're going to primarily center around the middle two strings just so we can get used to it. And then we're going to spend some time branching out into other strings and then eventually learning to put frets with it. So this is going to be a great lesson uh, for you mandolin players that want to learn how to branch out into some of that cross picking stuff. And what's so important with this, we'll just throw up the first measure there and look at pattern one and two. What's so important is that through all these exercises, all these patterns, we're going to keep a steady down up pick stroke. And that may be the hardest thing for you to do. Okay. But if I have the arrows there beneath it, but it never changes. Okay. The first, third, fifth and seventh notes of every measure is a downstroke. Okay, so if you can let that just kind of sink in, that'd be awesome. Then the second, fourth, sixth, and eighth note of each one of the measures is an upstroke. So if we were to go play all these on just one string, it would just simply be down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up for one measure. Now the trick in this comes to when we start playing a different string on different little beats of that measure. Okay, it's easy enough just to play one string, but what happens when you start jumping up? And that's what we're going to learn how to do here, to where it becomes second nature. Uh, so, and, and this can just build into so many licks to where you can learn how to uh, kind of use drone strings or like that Ronda Vincent song. Learn how to pick out a melody. Okay, so for pattern one, the first beat, and these, these go in order, but the first and the third beat of the measure, measure one, we're going to play the A string. Okay, so that turns out to be the first note and the fifth note out of the eight notes in measure one. Okay, so we're going to play one note on the A string, and then we're going to jump down with an up stroke and play three D strings in a row. Okay, so just those four notes, first four notes together sound like this. Then we're just going to do that again. Okay, so all of measure one together sound like this. Simple enough, huh? Simple enough, but the important thing is to realize and make sure that you're doing down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. We're going to be tempted to try to maybe do two downs in a row or two ups in a row. We don't want to do that. So do it as slow as you need to do to make yourself do down, up, up, up. I'm sorry. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And I have that both there in measure one 
and measure two. So if you're practicing along with the TEF file, you can have it repeat that and have plenty of time to practice. Now, if you'll notice in pattern two, what we're going to do is shift that note that we play the A string with. We're just going to shift it one half beat forward. So now instead of the first and fifth notes of the measure in measure three, the A note is the second and sixth notes of the measure. And what that's going to do is change the pick stroke that contacts the A string. Okay, so it's going to sound like this. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, can you do that? Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Good, and then these, these can be fairly simple. Where it's going to get more complicated in the future when we get into more advanced patterns is when we start making them syncopated to where it's... where we don't land on the A string on the same beats every measure. And that's gonna to get to be a lot of fun. In pattern three, we're just gonna move that A string forward another note to where it lands. Uh, we play the A string on the third and the seventh note. 